Well, good evening, everyone. How are you? It's lovely to see you again and a very warm welcome back to Meals of the Week and indeed What's for Tea. Or if you're new, a warm welcome to you also. This is What's for Tea and my name's Cheryl and this is just the part of the week where I show you what I made for the family meals during the week. I usually start off on Monday all the way through till today, which is Sunday. Now, we're actually planning on having slow cooker chops today, but it's just been a, an absolutely manic week and everything's been turned upside down and one thing or another. So we ended up just having the fish pie today, but we will be having the slow cooker chops tomorrow. So I'll be sure to show you how I'm doing that one. So, yep. Yeah, so enough rabbiting from me. Let's go and see what we had this week, starting off on Monday. So starting off on Monday, and we just had pasta. So this is a tomato and bacon penny. And we just had some garlic bread at the side and some black pepper. Really simple this, but everybody thoroughly enjoyed this. Beautiful. And moving on to Tuesday, I've seen this already if you watched my video recipe. This was the Cumberland pie, and I'll leave the recipe for this down below, just in case you want to see it. We just had some broccoli. Moving on to Wednesday, and we'd roast gammon. So that's the gammon there. And I made some roast potatoes and some sweet corn, green beans and pineapple at the back. Again, really simple, but so tasty. This gammon was incredible. That's Mr. What's for Tea cutting it up there. It was really nice. I'm moving on to Thursday and we just had simple soup and rolls. So that's a wee homemade soup. That's our winter vegetable soup. And again, I'll link this in the description box down below. And we had some rolls with the tuna, mayo and tomato and some wee breadsticks at the side. Another super simple one, but <laughs> delicious nonetheless. I'm moving on to Friday and I made a wee tagliatelle. So this is tagliatelle pasta with a creamy mushroom and ham sauce. Again, just with some garlic bread at the side and a wee bit of black pepper. Moving on to Saturday and I made some slow cooker meatballs. This was such a hectic day. <laughs> so with mashed potato, these are the slow cooker meatballs and onion gravy and some carrots. And again, I'll leave the recipe for this down below because I have shown you how I've done this one in the past. Then moving on to today, and hopefully you've just seen this recipe. <laughs> this is the fish pie that i done today. This is a smoked haddock fish pie and it was lovely. So tasty, but it took a wee while to do, so that's why I'm so late, you know, with Meals of the Week this week. So I'm normally on the ball, but because i done my recipe the same day that I'm doing Meals of the Week, then it's, it's taking a wee bit longer than normal. So that was us. I don't have any comments this week because, to be honest, I just have not had time to sort of gather them all up and, you know, filter through them all and respond to them. But I will be back on schedule uh, next week for Meals of the Week. I'll be sure to answer or respond to some of your comments at the end of next week's Meals of the Week. So thank you very much, guys, for popping over and checking out what we had this week. And until I see you next, which is hopefully going to be tomorrow with those slow cooker uh, pork chops with that lovely golden mushroom soup that Patrick sent me from the state. So I'm super interested to see what that's going to be like because I've never had anything like that before and it's a combination that we've certainly never tried but we'll give it a go and we'll see what we think. <laughs> so until I see you next, like I said guys, mind to take care of yourselves and I will see you very soon. So bye for now. Bye now.